It's warmed up a little bit, 86 degrees, but not a cloud to be seen in Lakewood Ranch. Charlotte and ECU ready to tee it off in this Carolina matchup. Works in from the wing. Searching for a look. The shot. Oh, are you kidding? Less than 60 seconds in, Charlotte strikes. 26, 18, and 7 all time in the postseason for the 49ers. Lobbed it in. Oh, and she got it. Another brilliant strike. It's 2 0 Charlotte. Jaw dropping fireworks in Florida. That came from this. It's Braylon Francher with the service, just trying to put it into a dangerous area and just not judge well by Maeve English there in goal. The depth perception of coming a little bit too much towards the ball. It goes over her head for the second goal. Loses the ball for a moment and has to reset. And that's trickled back into the 18. Turned it around. Slots it through and hits the upper 90. This attack is unstoppable. 3-0. Loose ball in the midfield. Here comes Charlotte again. Through center, leaves it for Bader. Bader gets to the ball, turns inside. Bader, she got it. The brace for Macy Bader. 4-0 Charlotte. Patrick finding Bader again, and then now you allow for her just to do what she does best, go in the 1v1, takes a prep touch, and she buries it. And Bader's fifth of the year, second of this game. On the opposite end. It creates a very interesting dynamic now for the coaching staff. Snell, loose in the six, and off her line, Wakeman comes in, Ferguson denied again. Emma Wakeman stands tall and preserves the shutout. What's the difference in that kind of meeting? I think there can be a lot of open space. <laughs> There's not as much of a chess match involved in those. Here comes East Carolina. Emma Wakeman comes in to punch it away. More outstanding keeper play. Emma Sheehan is coming in her place. And a ball over the top. It is now one-on-one. -on -one. Here comes Charlotte. And they make it five. The onslaught continues on the breakaway. The 49ers get a goal from a Yina partner. The most goals in a conference tournament game since 1997. And Charlotte is on to the semifinals behind a 5-0 win over ECU.